Derek from PacificCoast.io and for many of you this is your first time to see what I look like but if you're subscribed to my other channel then you get this kind of video all the time. You get to see me, you get to see me answer questions and drive my car. And the reason why we do this in a car instead of in a studio is number one we don't have a studio and we have a car or I have a car. And uh, I normally wouldn't have time to do videos like this, but the fact that I drive an hour to get to the port leaves me a lot of dead time to do videos like this. Can you see me? That camera's mounted terribly. I'll slouch down, gangster style. Okay, so this one's got, this is kind of a, in our YouTube history, this is, I feel stupid doing gangster style. Okay, so in our YouTube history, which has been a very, uh, confusingly successful YouTube history. We started putting videos on as advertising purposes for our company of the vehicles that people buy. And for some reason, people thought that this was exciting. And it is, I mean, Japan's got vehicles from every country in the world. And for myself coming from Canada, there are an awful lot of vehicles that were never available in Canada, but they were in other countries in the world. And so the channel is interesting in that respect. Um, it got pretty big though. I mean, 17,000 subscribers is pretty big. And unfortunately we got some bad news. And this comes from the port. The port says we are no longer allowed to use their location for videos that are posted on YouTube. And so the keen-eyed ones out there have actually noticed that some of my videos went missing. And if you've done some digging, then you'll notice that over 400 of our videos got removed from the channel. So what their new rule is, uh, let me talk about how that's a rule in just a little bit, but the, for now I'll just call it a new rule. The new rule is all of my old videos and any new videos using the port that we most commonly use are not allowed to go onto YouTube. And that is terrible because that's where we get almost all of our advertising from is word of mouth and YouTube. We're still allowed to post from any of the other ports that we use, which is two other ports, but one of them is exclusive to dealers. And so, for the time being, the only vehicles that are going to be posted on this channel are vehicles that are going to the USA. And so that is any vehicle that's 25 years old and going to the USA. I already said that. Uh, it's, it's going to limit the amount of videos that you guys see. More so than that, it has drastically reduced the exposure my company gets to new customers. So that's a super concern for me. We can't really argue this point with the port because they, at the end of the day, they make the final rules. It is a little bit of a slimy move in some ways. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I don't think the port themselves found my channel on YouTube. I don't think that the Japanese people who work on the port check YouTube videos about cars. I don't know how they found my channel. Now it's true that the channel is growing, and it's, it, but I mean at 17,000 subscribers, look at other channels that do car videos. They're getting millions of subscribers. I'm an invisible minority in a sea of, of channels that are very popular. And uh, so I don't think that they, that, that they just stumbled upon my videos. I have a feeling like they had been tipped off on the fact that my videos were posted from some bad guy who wants to reduce the amount of sales that we're doing because they're jealous of what we're doing or they're upset or they don't like competing against what we're doing. Uh, I don't know for sure though. And this is just speculation. I don't know. Um, but it won't be the first time and I'm not going to get into details but there have been multiple other times where other exporters have contacted the port in order to complain about me for things that they shouldn't be complaining about but they were using that as a way to try to damage us. And I don't like drama so I'm not going to explain that. If you come to Japan and if you buy me a few beers you can probably get it out of me but this isn't something that's going to go on YouTube because I don't want any sort of public 
uh, expression of my dissatisfaction with what's happening with any of the companies that we work with or any of our competitors. Uh, I respect immensely any of our competitors who are very good companies and I will tell you to your face which companies I think are good companies. And if somebody comes to me and wants to buy a car and they can get that car like something in our company or the way that we do our business isn't satisfactory to the customer, then I will certainly recommend other companies to you. I don't have a problem with competition at all and it really rubs me the wrong way when competition will sneakily go the back door way in order to damage a company. But hey, that's business and you can't get away from it. Uh, so you're going to see fewer videos on here for the time being, but because this damages my company as much as it does, and believe me that we're talking several tens of thousands of dollars in sales lost, most likely, uh, we have a lot of reason to be opening our own lot now. And this is something that we have always had a lot of reason to open our own lot, but haven't come through yet. And that's because things just didn't line up. But now with this extra incentive, it's probably going to happen sooner rather than later. And so if you subscribe to my other channel, you'll probably hear about it before this channel because I don't do this vlog style of post on this channel. Uh, then, uh, and the link to that's in the description if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, where was I? Anyways, uh, I expect some things to be changed probably two or three or four months from now. We will have our own lot. And that's going to be very nice because it opens the doors a lot in the types of things that we want, things as in services that we want to be able to provide to our customers. And we don't offer that yet because we don't have the lot. There are problems with opening a lot, of course. Cost is a huge one because land is very expensive in my area. And one of the main reasons I want to get the lot is so that I can save time because this driving to the port four times per week at one hour there and one hour back is an awful lot of wasted time. And so we want to get a lot that's very close to our office and eventually the idea is to get a very big lot and to custom build myself an office on that lot and that would be excellent. But it would also be half a million dollars to do that and we don't have uh, that much money nor the amount of money that we would need to pay off a loan if we were to finance that which is how it would have to be. Anyways I'm almost at the port here. Uh, yes the channel is going to be a little bit different we're only going to see US cars for a couple of months but then we'll be back up to the regular cars once we get our own lot and uh, hopefully this has been a change for the better. A lot of times when something bad happens in the company, it spurs something good. And so let's hope that's the case in this, uh, this time. Okay, so I'm going to end it up there. Thanks for watching the video of me with the camera pointed at my chest instead of my face. And I uh, hope you liked it. Check out my other channel if you haven't already subscribed. We've got 3,000 subscribers there and 17,000 here. So if you're into the Japanese car industry and into talking about cars and importing in particular, we have a weekly question and answer cast where you can ask the questions and we answer them. And so a lot of people have been watching those videos and learning a lot about the, the industry. And so if you're one of those people that wants to learn more about what we do and about importing, maybe you're thinking about importing yourself but you need some more information, there's a heck of a lot of info on those videos and you can go back and binge watch them all if you do, don't get tired of looking at my face. Anyways, ending the video there, thanks a lot for watching and have a good one.